Alright then everyone, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. So in this episode, we're going to be taking on Umaro's Cave, and there's lots of stuff to do in there, so... This is, uh... Gonna require a little bit of time. I mean, it's not gonna be super duper long, but... Alright, I'll just run away from these encounters out here. With luck, Setzer might die. He's really only there to carry my back guard, my Gale Hairpin, right now. And he's in the way of my telling what's going on sometimes because I can only split it up into two controller slots, so if I can get Gao raging in the other two uh, on the same on different controller slots, that means that it's really easy to tell them apart. But Sess is just that fourth wheel that I really don't need around for anything. So heading left across the bridge. This part's old hat, I guess. I've done it a few times. One time a long time ago, one time more recently. So I reached the far end. Back one, all the way up to the top, and time to jump into a random encounter because that's what happened. Now it's time to jump into Imaro's cave. This seems like a very uh, suicidal thing to do, but, you know, this is Final Fantasy. You can't be hurt by silly things as gravity. Gravity's not epic enough to kill people. Phoenix down. Oh, why'd I revive Setzer? I should have uh, just Phoenix down the other three slots. One, two, three. Alright, so, all the way to the left, this lines you up the staircase. This place may seem tricky to navigate at first glance, but with proper planning, it's not too bad at all. I can avoid the holes here just by going up and right, so... It's not actually that far. Now I just go left into the cave. And if I go down and right, I'll be lined up with the treasure chest, but I don't want to enter that battle yet, because I need Vanish. So let's enter a random encounter first. Otherwise, these, these Tom Berries can slaughter me pretty quickly. Even Gao takes a lot of damage from these guys. They have pretty powerful physical attacks. But my advantage is that they could barely hurt me if I have Vanish on. And I say barely, because... Alright, so this is... Gao. Right off the bat. How handy. And yet again, this is another case of pretty much nothing can hurt me as long as I have Vanish on in this dungeon. Umaro himself can, though, so I gotta be careful. But I've planned for him, so that's okay. Alright, so now let's open this chest. Now they can't kill me, so I'm free to take my time. The only way they can kill me, though, is if I hit them with a magic spell. Okay, this is Sabin. Get out of my way, Sabin. This is, is Gao, you're on magic, which I don't want. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I could choose Vaporite, but that's a bad idea, because Vaporite's undead, and if you notice, I have region, so... I don't know, maybe it hasn't even ticked yet, but I do have region on with my cure ring. That's for tomorrow later, but be useful here too. Blaze doesn't get countered by their uh, magic, by the way. So, this is Edgar. You're you're important. Bioblaster them, because they are weak to poison. Well, not weak to it, they just vulnerable to the status. And now this is Setzer, and you can kill yourself. Yes, osmosing the enemy is the quickest way to kill myself. What a strange turn of events. It would be extra hilarious if... Uh, it was something, like, safe that I'd be applying to the enemy to kill Setzer off, but... And it, they do counter that, too. They'll counter any magic spell whatsoever that you throw at them. 
Yeah, everyone's set up now. Edgar's flash is slightly more powerful. Counting the damage to all three of them, it's 600, which isn't that bad, honestly, in an LLG from an attack that isn't fixed damage of some kind. But of course, you can't do that much to a single enemy, so... Unless you're counting the poison, in which case he's the hero of the battle, really. Certainly want to put wouldn't want to put poison on these guys through any other means than the bile blaster. Which is why it's a good thing I brought Edgar to this dungeon. Setzer, on the other hand, can go uh, shove his head in the toilet or something, get a swirly. For all he's contributing to the team right now. If I'm lucky, I might get a Minerva or something from this battle. But I don't think it's necessary. I can already get one Minerva. And if I really need a second, I could go into Kefka's Tower or something. But it might be helpful. I'm pretty sure that uh, I can get the Minerva now that I have that Force Shield by betting the Cesarina down at the Coliseum. I might have been able to get it without the Force Shield. I can't really remember all the details. And they're not really that important. Oh, whoops. Oh, one of them's dead. Or going back to the start. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Of course, their cleaver, a special move that they spend this entire battle charging up for, still does absolutely nothing to me. But they've got to be dead soon. Yeah, that's a dead one. They wasted so much time doing that that one of them died from poison. I'm not 100% sure what governs whether they drop a Nerva or not, because on the Final Fantasy Wiki it says 100% chance of dropping it, but they don't drop three Minervas every time I fight the battle, so it seems like a rare drop, probably, or something. Alright, so that's out of the way. So let's go get that treasure chest up there, and whoopsie daisies, fell in the hole. Uh, well, I don't care anymore, just gonna skip it. Actually, it's just an X Ether, which is totally worthless. I mean, it might be worth something to Gao, but not a lot. Oh, shoot. Messed up, didn't I? That wasn't the right hole. I was supposed to go in a different one. Oh, uh, that's dumb. the right button for a couple seconds. Hope I get lucky enough to save this. Otherwise, this is going to be a mess. Whoa, I did it! <laughs> oh man, that's so lucky. Alright, let's not blow this now. Up and right. So this should bring me across the second bridge. Alright, I probably made it because I haven't gotten a battle. Down one step, all the way to the right. Alright, don't want to fight you guys. And as usual, enemies in here can't do anything with a vantage on. Seriously, how many dungeons is it possible to break this way? You could practically do a no damage run of this game half the time. I mean, statement made no sense, but 
One, two. Now at the bridge. The really long bridge. I could have just uh, rightened up to get to the top here, but then I would have ended up sliding into that right hand uh, corner there, and that's just annoying. Let's not do that. Left. Then I go back one step. Back one step. All the way up. Alright, this room's pretty easy to navigate. Right. Another battle. Don't hit the first switch, that just makes you fall back down into that top right hand corner that I didn't want to go into earlier. And I still don't want to go into it now, because it's totally useless. Keep going. Ignore the uh, very tempting first switch. Down. Who constructs these things back here with the Yeti roaming around? Alright, made it here. One, two to the left. Up and right until I reach the bone carving. Or a battle. I should probably slow down either way, slow down my movements. Did I miss it? I really should have uh, thought of this beforehand and put a plan in place in case I reach the top right hand corner of this room. Because I don't know what it looks like. Alright, so I'll go down to the bottom. Take one step left and then go back up. Okay, down to the bottom. One step left, and then back up. There. That was guaranteed to work. I mean, unless if the exit's farther right than I thought it was, but I, obviously I don't think it's that far right. Alright, hello. Hopefully I won't mess this up after the rest of the segment actually... Well, it didn't go well, it just didn't go poorly. Alright, this is either Sabin or Gao, and that's not telling me anything. This is Sabin. Just Phantom Rush him. This is Edgar. I want you to Bio Blaster. And you should be set up on Bomb all ready to go, because everything that I need to kill here is weak to fire. Oh no! S Edgar didn't get his poison off. It sucks. Okay, this might be, uh, this might be pretty tense here. It's terrible luck that I didn't get, uh, that I got blizzarded on the first turn before Edgar could do anything, even with the running shoes on. Now I've got to rely on the region from that cure ring and blizzard to pull this off. Because that's all the healing I'm getting. Gao isn't really made to stomach this entire fight. That wasn't really my strategy, it was just... Maybe a couple turns of Phantom Rush and Poison carrying the day here. For the most part, with uh, Gao surviving long enough to let the Poison do its job, but... I was getting countered a lot too, and I haven't heard any blizzards since the first one that wrecked me. Yeah, we really can't have a lot of HP by now. Okay, that helps a little. I feel like I'm commenting on a sports event that I can't see, because I'm definitely not an active participant in this. Thankfully, I'll at least have a couple turns of leeway after when he does that. 
However, this also reduces my damage. And since it's not mostly coming from poison, I don't get that bonus of uh, the poison getting to queue up during this time. So, is Gao tough enough to take the heat, or is he gonna get punched in the face too much? Find out next time on Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded. Of course, I'm not gonna cut that off here, because that would ruin my whole video formatting. Every punch I hear on that side... Not even sure where I was going with that statement. I don't definitely don't want punches on either side because punches on Umaro can also trigger his counterattack, and I don't want that. Region alone doesn't carry Gao much. That does, I guess. He can't have too much HP left. He does that fairly late in the battle, I think, the green cherry thing. It's just too bad I'm not getting that amazing damage over time from the poison that he's also weak to. So it does double damage. Shield hit tells me Gao's still alive. But I guess that, uh... The green cherry helps him a lot more when... All my damage is coming from the, uh, blaze, because... Because... When it's mostly coming from poison, it's practically just buying me time, but here, it actually hurts a lot. Come on, Gao. Just one or two more hits, probably, at this point. That poison makes things feel so much faster. Unless the green cherry is on a timer, in which case I have no clue at all how close I am to being done this. In that case, I could be miles off. It's so irritating, not knowing how close I am to being killed. I've got to be fairly close, though. He hasn't used Blizzard in a while, I don't think. Blocked probably a counter attack, which is good because the counter attack is fairly ah. Oh. Come on, Gao, you can do this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Man, can anything in this segment go to plan? Sheesh. Alright, so I don't need to revive either, either of my other characters, however... I will potion gout. Wow, uh... Maybe it wasn't as close to death as I... Oh no wait, I'm being an idiot, that wasn't Gao. Yeah. Whoa, he must have been low, because a potion heals 250 HP and he only has 311, I think? So, he must have had uh, less than 65 HP. <laughs> that was about as much on the edge as I thought it was. One to the left, down. You might be wondering why I'm running off into the middle of a random wall here, but that's because I need to get some encounters from this area. This is the best place to get s some encount- some Tom Thumb encounters. Alright, so Gao should still be on Rage, and he's my only character in the party that's still among the uh, living here. So I will be putting Vanish back on him.
which I might as well just do with the actual spell. Phantom's just gonna cost more MP. And now I need to determine which battle it is. So let's see, are there any onion knights in this battle? Probably. Alright, I don't think he has enough MP for Phantom. So that's Cure, but I don't want to do that. That would reverse what I just did. And now I want to use fire on everything here. Three targets. And, okay, this is a uh, double an enemy Tom Thumb battle, because the enemies are countering with Megavolt. On themselves, thankfully, and not me, or else that would get annoying. I don't care if they do it to themselves. Now, there's only one other battle that I'm looking for here. It's uh, double Tom Thumb plus Ceratops. But there are two dud battles here, so... I still need to be careful determining what's what. But I've got one out of the way for sure. Thankfully, the Tom Thumbs often use Dash, which is going to be the thing that tells me if there's a couple... If there's a Tom Thumb in the battle for sure, because otherwise I could get a Triceratops battle. And by Triceratops, I mean triple Ceratops, not one Triceratops. And now I have to wait for everything to use Megavolt on themselves. Any battle with Megavolt is a dud by this point, but battles where I don't get a Megavolt counter are a fair game. But the good news is, nothing here can hurt me, so I've got as long as I want. Uh, I don't need to run yet. I mean, at least until I run out of tinctures, but that hopefully shouldn't happen. Alright, so this could be triple Ceratops, or it could be, uh... Ceratops double Tom Thumb. I'll wait for just one more round of attacks to tell me, hopefully. One miss. Okay, good. There's the counter I want. Only uh, Tom Thumbs have that dash move they use on themselves. Man, thank goodness that enemies here use attacks on themselves, right? Or I wouldn't have any hope of uh, identifying these battles easily. Even still, I got fairly lucky, I think. That went pretty fast. Phoenix down Edgar, because he's got warp. Skills. Edgar, magic. Well, almost nothing there went to plan, but except that last part. But whoops. Nice. Twenty-three minutes. I still can't believe I got to that chest, though. That's the most ridiculous thing that happened in this segment. N bar none. In fact, <laughs> that's probably the luckiest bit of navigation I've had this entire game. See you next time.